Hi guys, welcome to H2 Home Hacks. I'm your lovely host S and in today's video is a very interesting one because I'm going to show you how I furnished my bed sitter apartment in a span of one year. Yeah, so I just started with my bed when I moved in and my meko and of course the kitchen stuff, yeah. And I ended up furnishing to having several items in my house. I don't have everything yet, but it's still a process. Yeah, this is just an inspiration for those of you who are starting out. Yeah, and I hope you'll enjoy the video. So guys, uh, where I'm starting with this point, because this was the only cute or beautiful thing in my house and it was kind of a motivation to me every day yeah i had that cab ka nini ka bedside budget table and the rest of the space was empty yeah i felt like i could play you know i could play i could play a football match around this space because where i'm taking the video from is my bed area Yeah, and this is my sink. That's where I've put my, yeah. you know, utensils and my dish rack and, of course, my kitchen cabinet. Yeah, and this was all, guys. I had a very, very, very big space. Very big space to play around. My other happy place was this car, home sweet home, welcome key holder but unfortunately it's just for beauty because it's not functional uh, it can't hold my keys unfortunately but i love it i still love it you know so i really love that car home deco for keys and then of course we are ladies we have so many shoes and this is where as you can see my shoe rack was a is a bit beat in a bit i mean you know <laughs> And then I have my laundry basket and my shoes and, uh, you know, my slippers to my bathroom and all those space, guys. Imagine all that space. All that space. So, guys, after one month, I was turning a year older. I decided to gift myself this seat here but guys this was not my first seat selection yeah so guys these were the curtains that i had before i bought my seat and when i went to the showroom i really wanted a dark gray but when i got to the show you know how ladies we are we, we are very indecisive so i i thought of my curtains and then i saw this ash gray seat and it was so beautiful yeah so guys i i know you can remember the other setup this seat is supposed to be an l-shaped seat but this is what i really had in mind to separate them so that they look like they are two yeah and then i got the magical blanket right over there it's like a fleece blanket you can cover yourself when you may be watching something i did I did have a TV back then, yeah. So, yeah, I would watch through my phone. Yeah, so the ash gray one, it would match with my, with my, whatever, with my seats. And then I added those wall, wall, whatever, wall decos, yeah, for a minimalist, yeah. So, yeah, this is what I want to see in my house, things to motivate me. 
and told me, you know what, you're doing well, continue. <laughs> yeah, so I added those to deco on the wall. And yeah, I stayed for, you know, like this for a while after not doing anything with my with my house for almost four months or even five months from September to May, from September to May. So after, you know, like I, I said in May, I don't know how many months that is. I got myself a fridge. I actually wanted to get the mini fridge, but then I decided let me just buy a big one so that, you know, even when I move to a bigger house, I won't feel like the mini fridge is a small one. So I, I saw this LG fridge and uh, it had this mat in butter. And what I liked about this fridge is because, you know, it has a three star in terms of savings. So when I was doing the reviews of fridge, they were saying the more star it has, the better it is. So I don't know how true that is. But most of them had one and two. So when I found this with a three, I don't know if it was a bonus. I really loved this one more. Yeah, and at the same time, I decided to buy myself a pressure cooker. Yeah, and this one is very nice, by the way. It doesn't consume a lot of power. Like, with only like 30 bob, if you do your maths, that is how much it can cost you to, you know, to boil maybe githeri beans, you know, all those things that we, the cereals that we boil, yeah. It's even economical than the other methods of boiling things. And I got myself this freshener, yeah, to freshen my home, to feel nice. Yeah, so this is what I got for the other time, you know, when I was feeling the shopping spree mood. So I bought the pressure cooker and the fridge, yeah. So, guys, this is my show rack. I dismantled it and I upgraded it to... This one here. I went to my fundi and told him what I really wanted for my shoe rack. I wanted this space here because I wanted to put some deco up there. And then that's, you know, this is bigger and it's much more stronger. And I also got this laundry basket. It's so nice. I really loved pink, but they didn't have pink. But I think I'm still going to buy a pink one. I don't love blue, but I might use it for maybe when I have a blue theme or, you know, when I have a bigger space where I can blend blue. So I got this one instead. This is where I put my dirty shoes. Yeah. So, yeah, instead of it, of them piling on the door, this is what I use as my storage for the dirty shoes. I wanted pink because it would match with my as uh, home sweet home theme yeah that is why i wanted the pink one so so why i wanted this shoe rack to be you know flat on top is because i had thought of this decoration that i wanted to place here yeah so i got this i really loved them i wanted a touch of gold and black since the shoe rack was white this fundi didn't give me the brilliant white color that I wanted, but anyway, I still chose to keep it. Yeah, let me know of my deco items. I got this at Carrefour. The other one I got at Nyota's Home Care. Yeah, the three pieces. Yeah. And they really, really look nice.
so guys i hope you have enjoyed that video please share your comment about how much you have spent to furnish your apartment i don't know mind if it's on the high end because i haven't bought everything that i want to have yeah so let me know what is your budget and how much you spend to maybe furnish your apartment let me know your thoughts this channel is just about sharing ideas and enlightening each other yeah and guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i love you and i hope to see you in the next video yeah